and I'm so happy to be here with you again. I have a new read aloud for you. It is called Caps for Sale, and this one's super cute and fun, and I even have a challenge for you at the end of the video, so hang in there and wait for the end of the video to see what my challenge is. See if you can beat Miss Bishop. Okay, so Caps for Sale. That's what we're going to read together today. I'm going to read to you Caps for Sale. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling caps, Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought. And, and he sat down very slowly under the tree and he leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First he checked First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very top. They were all there. So he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. And all he felt was his own checked cap. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked behind him, no caps. And he looked behind the tree, no caps. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. So finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at him and said, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their hands back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, you monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, you monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. 
At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his cap and he threw it to the ground and he began to walk away. But then each monkey pulled off his cap and threw them all to the ground, right? Look, all the gray caps, all the brown caps, all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. Do you see them all falling down to the ground? So the peddler picked up his caps and he put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly he walked back to town calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap, the end. I absolutely love this book. And so here's my challenge for you. I challenge you to beat Mrs. Bishop at ready. You're gonna see it. Here's my challenge to you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, kids, your challenge is to stack the caps on top. Mrs. Bishop has, whoa, oh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And my goofy glasses that make me look like the character from the book because he has bushy eyebrows and a little beard but he doesn't have big nose or glasses, but you get it, Mrs. Bishop's kind of wacky. So anyways, your challenge is find all the hats in your house and see if you can stack them up on top just like he did and walk very slowly and see if you can beat Mrs. Bishop. How many did I have? I had eight. So beat Mrs. Bishop and let me know if you do. Bye.